We are going to implement Camera X in Java. The purpose of this video is to provide implementation of Camera X in Java because not everyone has shifted to Kotlin. Also, this video will be update of my previous video Camera X in Java because in that one we have used alpha version of Camera X APIs which are now outdated. Let's start with the implementation of Camera X new APIs. So let's start off with the new project. So in this project, the main activity layout has only one text view. So first of all, let's add the Gradle dependencies for the Camera X APIs. These will be available in the description of the video. So you can also copy from there. Hit sync. Okay, after syncing the project, now let's update the layout. So in this layout, we will be adding a simple preview view. Then we will have the capture button for the photo to capture the photo and then we have a video button to start capturing the video. Let's remove the text view and replace it with the preview view. This is simply the layout implementation. So I will fast forward from here. layout implementation is now complete first of all we have a preview view and then we have a bottom layout in which we have two buttons one to capture the photo and the other is to capture the video so let's start the implementation of the camera x before adding the code first of all let's add the permissions in the manifest so these are the permissions the first thing in the camera x is the camera provider so first of all, let's get the instance of camera provider. So this will be from process camera provider. And now we need to get the camera provider. So for that purpose, first of all, the camera provider will provide us the future instance of this. So as you can see, this is the listenable future. Pass the process camera provider here. And now we have a listenable future. So after that, in this camera provider future, we have to add a listener in it. So for that purpose, first of all, we have to add a listener run a runnable. Second argument is the executor from the context compact. Pass the context as this. And in this one, now we we want to get the camera provider from this listenable future variable camera provider is equal to camera provider future dot get let's add the try cache block here after adding the try cache block now we need to create a method for starting the camera you can name this method as start camera x and then pass this camera provider to start the camera first of all we need a camera selector so the first thing will be the camera selector which is from the camera selector you can choose either one back camera or front camera and now we need to create a preview use case from the preview builder so in this one we have to call the new preview builder dot build. After that we have to bind preview view to this preview. So preview view will be available from the layout from here. Let's add that one preview dot set surface provider. We can now just get the surface provider from the preview view like so. After getting the preview view, let's now bind the Two use cases camera selector and preview to the camera provider lifecycle. Add a new try catch block here. And then, first of all, we have to unbind any previously binded use cases before rebinding. 
call the camera provider dot unbind all and now we have to bind the use cases so camera provider dot bind to life cycle so we can get the life cycle from this current activity by passing this and now we have to pass the camera selector and then we have a first use case preview add a catch block here the preview use case is now completed let's run the application at this stage and see how it works so at first this application will not provide us the preview view so please remember that i have not implemented the permissions of this camera just we have to go to the camera x uh, application info and then add the permissions from there let's run the application again and you can see the preview in the preview view if you like this video hit thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe the channel see you next time